Hello guys, let's discuss this problem based on linear equations in two variables from R.D. Sharma which says a number is 27 more than the number obtained by reversing its digits. If its units and tens digit are x and y then write the linear equation representing above statement. Now let's see what this statement is trying to say here. There is a number Let's suppose that number is A. Where this number is, what is this number? At its units and tens digit, there are x and y. At its unit digit, there is x. At its tens digit, there is y. So here, this is your number. Now, when you'll reverse it, then this will become x and y. Now, what are the conditions applied on A and B? It has been told that A is 27 more than B because the number obtained by reversing its digit which is B here. So A is equal to 27 plus B. Now let's put the value for A and B here. This is equal to 27. Now you need to find a condition on X and Y which will satisfy this equation always. You know that this is not the product of x and y. This is a number here where x is the unit place and y is tens place. Here in this again, this is also a number when you reverse a. So difference of this giving you 27. Now first tell me to get positive difference which means yx should be greater than xy. And now if yx needs to be greater than xy, which means y needs to be greater than x. Let's do this for an example. Let's take an example here. Let's suppose value for x is equal to 4. And let's suppose y is equal to 7 here. And then again take a condition where y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 7. Now for both of these conditions, let's see which condition going to satisfy this equation. So let's put this value here, where y is 7, x is 4, here x is 4, y is 7. So you can see here, 74 is greater than 47 and this difference is always going to give you 27. Now here in this, when y is 4 and x is 7, then reverse the digits, this will become this. Now here 74 which is greater than 47 but here minus sign is with the larger term which is 74. So here the difference is going to be minus 27. So which condition is actually satisfying this equation? Condition where y is greater than x. Now you can see here the difference between y and x needs to be 3. So here x minus y plus 3 will give you always 0. Because this difference needs to be equal to 3 to give you the difference of 27. You can put any value you want. Like if you want to use x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5. You can see here the difference between x and y is 3. y needs to be greater than x. That's why value of y used is 5 and value of x used is 2 in this equation. Now let's put both of these values in this equation. This will become 52 minus 25 and this difference will always be 27. So again, this these two values proving this equation. Now here x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0. As you need to, needed to find or needed to write a linear equation for this statement. So this is going to be a linear equation. As you are already familiar with the linear equation, here degree of x and y needs to be equal to 1. Now you can see here, when you'll put x is equal to 2 in this, y is equal to 5 in this, you'll get minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 will always give you 0. So this will all, this linear equation will always satisfy this equation. I hope there should be no doubt here. I'll be taking more problems in coming video lectures. Thank you.